The Coin Bureau recently went on Altcoin Daily talking about his top altcoins to invest in during this recession. Wanted to share some of his thoughts with you all and also add uh, some of my thoughts on top of that. Of course, the Coin Bureau, been around the industry very, very uh, a very, very long time, has a ton of great ideas and thoughts about where we're going in the cryptocurrency market. Also has done a fantastic job calling out some gems in the past. So when he speaks, we should definitely listen and learn from it. And there are a couple cryptocurrencies on this list that I hold in my portfolio. That, of course, was hap uh, I was happy to see that. And uh, one of them in particular, one of my favorites that I've been acquiring quite a bit of here in 2022, tops the list. So let's dive in. Before we do so, hit the like button down there. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see what Guy is up to and where he thinks the best place for our money is in this bear market and recession. So Coin Bureau names a couple of his top cryptos. He starts off with Adam and Algorand. So Algo, uh, one of his top five altcoins to invest in during the recession. And this, again, a new interview with Altcoin Daily. Coin Bureau joined them. Guy says the decentralized parallel blockchain network Cosmos is also high on his list due to its high staking rewards and strong development team. He says, and I quote, I'd be very quick to jump on Adam. I think it's an amazing project. I love Cosmos. I love this idea of interoperability. There's some really cool tech here. There's a great team behind it. And also, I must say, a really good community behind Cosmos as well. There are some amazing returns on staking Adam at the moment. At the time of this recording, Cosmos changing hands right around $9 per coin he next picks uh he next picks the ethereum rival algorand saying the blockchain is putting itself in a strong position for the next crypto bull market algorand is a really interesting potential play for the next bull market i think we could see a lot of really cool really interesting really successful projects develop in its ecosystem during that time i think it has a good shot as one of those non ethereum virtual machine chains as well i think that positions it really really well there also seems to be a lot of developments happening and a strong community brewing behind Algorand. I can attest to that, too. You know, one thing in 2021 that I, uh, you know, basically called a knock on Algorand, it was its lack of marketing. But, uh, of course, they just finished up being a main sponsor at the FIFA World Cup. They're really putting a lot of efforts there. Uh, Algorand has been one that I've been picking up uh, quite a bit of here in 2022. I really like it as a next crypto bull run play. He also picks data storage network uh, Arweave. This is a decentralized data storage network, and this is a project he really likes as well. He thinks it has an amazing use case. Again, amazing tech and teams, so a lot of these fundamentals match up for me. Guy shifts his focus back to Cosmos to select a, a few other projects built on its blockchain. After he's talking about Arweave, he's talking about now Osmosis and Juno for inclusion on his top five list. He rounds it out uh, again with Ave. Talking a little bit more about uh, the future of DeFi. Uh, I, I love this quote. He says, I think DeFi's time is going to come again. I agree. With the fallout of FTX and these centralized exchanges and authorities, uh, we have to go back to the roots of cryptocurrency, right? That's DeFi. That's decentralized finance. That's us taking control of our own finances and our own money. I think DeFi is going to be a big narrative of the next bull market. Ave is a really well-established project. I agree with this. It's been around. It's one of the top D5 projects out there. The fundamentals are in place. And he says, I think it's one of these ones that's definitely going to stick around. It has staying power, in his opinion. Definitely going to be one of the survivors uh, of this bear market. And at the time of this writing, Ave is trading hands right around $55. We could take a look at Ave real quick on our big board. Uh, let's pull it up here. Let's see, Ave. Here we go. Take a look at where it was this previous bull run. Uh, if it would come up for us, maybe. Uh, let's try that again. Ave, maybe. There we go. I think it's okay. There we go. 56.96 trading right now. But if we go to the all chart, guys, look at this. Ave was trading above $600 last May, uh, $629. So this is uh, more than a 10x away just from getting back to its all time high. This is what I mean. I mean, you look across the board, great, great companies and projects. Ave ranked in the top 50. You're looking at a 10 to 12 X on most great companies right now, just to get back to where they were in 2021. So while a lot of people are hiding from the markets, they're running away from them. This is the time to really dig in deep and find diamonds in the rough. And Ave could be one of those as Guy uh, points out here. 
My favorite on this list for me is Algorand. Uh, I do have to look a little closer at Cosmos. Adam, I have a little bit, uh, but I'll tell you what, I, I really love Algorand. Algorand is the one for me. Uh, you know, I did a little research talking, you know, and looking at their team. Um, and once you do that, you find that there are some extremely smart people coming from MIT. Uh, they've got great relationships with other people in the industry. You know, the owner uh, or lead dev of Algorand, very good friends with Cardano uh, founder Charles Hoskinson. They seem to be working together on some projects. I love that. Cardano is another one that's uh, high up on my portfolio, too. So Algorand would be my favorite on this list of uh, the ones that Guy says that are great altcoins to invest in during this recession. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to add any more to the list, drop your thoughts, comments, ideas down below. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully this gives you a nice perspective, gives you some uh, things to look at further here as we continue on in this bear market. Thank you all so much. Appreciate it. We'll see you.